who's played 12 games, but he's only thrown it seven times. You just don't really know what the passing attack for them looks like. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, we're up for the, as a defense, as a team, we're up for the challenge. And uh, we're excited to play against uh, somebody that's elusive, like like um, Alex, I believe his name. Yeah. Uh, we're excited to play against somebody that's as elusive as him, and uh, he brings definitely a different challenge to the table. What have you seen from him on film? What does he do well? Um, we're not going to get into it too much, but he definitely, uh, like I said, brings a different challenge to the table. Obviously, he can uh, use his legs at a different pace uh, than you normally see at the quarterback position, and I'm sure he's going to have confidence even in the passing game. So. Um, it's definitely going to be exciting playing against him. Uh, is, there in, sorry. Good. is there anything in particular you focused on trying to improve over the bye week? Uh, I mean, just just communication, uh, just being better, more, more cohesive, as a, not only a defense, but as a team. Uh, just continue to get better at, you know, small things off the field, too, so that's really about it. Jamila, you guys really kind of struggled at times with the defense of running quarterbacks. You know, last year you played with just a big emphasis and that changed a lot from the side against Bryce Moore and Utah State. What, what are you kind of carrying over from that, you know, into this week, and what's been different about this defense in regards to that? Yeah, it's just all about trusting in the scheme and, you know, uh, trusting in what we see, like our eyes. Um, see a lot, see a little, see a little, see a lot, so. Um, it's just all about um, just being there for one another, not necessarily leaving one man on the island, and just uh, playing as a coach. He's a good Jamil, just about every defensive transfer so far through two games has been a success. What do you attribute that to when last year there were some ups and some downs and some guys? How come everyone's been able to come in and have success, would you say? Like I said, you know, with his question, just all about playing as a cohesive unit. Uh, we've been doing a great job, even, even with our ups and downs this year, we've been doing a great job of just um, playing on one accord, I feel like, for the most part. And a lot of that starts pre-snap. We've been much better pre-snap, you know, than, uh, than, than the previous. Um, but, you know, it's, it's got to continue to get better, and we got to continue to get better. What contributes to being better pre-snap? Uh, just working. Just working as a defense. I mean, like I said, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot off of the field, uh, even before we got to the season, like off-season and stuff like that. So it's just about trusting what we were taught and uh, the things that we've done so much uh, to the point to where we can't forget it. It's just all about trusting. Dan mentioned kind of the difficulty, you know, only seeing, you know, 4G in that, that kind of package you know, scheme and, and not knowing what the kind of, him being a quarterback, what the full offense is going to look like. How do you guys prepare for that, only having seen that package and not seeing you know, what a full look Yeah, it's just all about uh, seeing, um, like I said, see a little, see a lot, see a lot, see a little. So that's basically just saying trust what we see. Uh, like I said, he brings a different challenge to the table when it comes to using his legs, whether it be on uh, early downs or especially even third down. Uh, Got to maintain great wrestling. So, um, we just got to play as a cohesive unit, uh, but we're excited for the challenge. I mean, yeah, I mean.